Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and for today I have a really quick booty band workout for you. Now if you don't have a booty band at home, don't worry because you can still do the workout without the band. It'll still be just as burny and still effective. But if you do have a band, let's start by placing it around our thighs, making sure that it's just above our knees. And then coming down onto your left forearm with your left elbow directly underneath your shoulder. Your knees are bent at a 45 degree angle out from your hip and your feet are in line with your body. Really lift up through the side of your waist and use your top hand to push your top hip away from you. Let's start by opening our top knee and closing. So just exhale, open your right knee, inhale, close. Keeping your toes together, just lifting that knee as high as you can without rocking through your hips. This is a really great way to activate our glute muscles because we will be doing a lot of glute work today so we want to make sure they're nice and switched on and activated. On your next one let's hold our knee open and take a little pulses back and back so just pressing that top knee back and back. Good breathing naturally here you should hopefully be feeling that top glute switch on. Let's do eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Close your knees. Slide your knees back now so that they are in line with the rest of your body. We have a little combo. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, lift your top leg. Inhale, lower, and exhale, lower your hips. So you lift your hips, lift your leg, lower your leg, lower your hips. Nice. Inhale, exhale the leg lifts, inhale leg lowers, exhale hip lowers. Now if lifting your hips here is too much or if you're feeling any pain through your shoulder, feel free to just keep your hips down on the mat and just lift that top leg up and down. So doing the same movements but with your hips rested on the mat. Last one. Now hold your knee, lift it. Hips can be up or down. And let's just pulse that leg up and up. Just four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold your leg lifted, extend the leg out in line with the hip and reach your right arm overhead. On your exhale, let's lower our hips down with control, keeping our leg lifted. Inhale, lift your hips up. So exhale, lower your hips, inhale, lift. The hard part here is keeping that right leg nice and lifted and keeping the resistance on your band. This is not only good for that bottom glute, but also our core, which is always a nice little bonus. Last one, hold your hips lifted and your leg extended. Let's finish with little leg lifts up and up. Just four, eight, seven, six, you can do it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Lower your hips down. Hopefully you're feeling both glutes are nice and switched up. So let's come on to our back now. Keeping the band around your thighs, step your feet out so they're slightly wider than hip distance apart and your toes are turned out. Press your hands down by your side into the mat and then roll your hips up by tucking your hips under, finding your bridge position. Really tuck your pelvis under, drop your ribs down towards your hips and find that squeeze through the base of your glutes. On your inhale, let's lower our hips and exhale, press them back up. So inhale, lower, exhale, press. Really focusing here on pressing your knees out slightly, keeping that resistance on the band, and also making sure that you're not arching through your spine. So we wanna tuck our pelvis under and find the squeeze through our glutes. And last one, 
hold your hips lifted from here just open the knees out and in so they open and close try to keep your hips nice and lifted and keep squeezing your glutes you'll find that you will roll onto the side edges of your feet as you open your knees but keep pressing down through your heels last one hold your knees open let's release our hands up towards the ceiling and do the same thing so our hips lower on our inhale exhale they press up this time round, i really want you to keep pressing those knees out with a little bit more weight on the outside edges of our feet nice inhale lower exhale lift Good job guys, keep going. Let's do two more. And last one, hold your hips lifted. Let's press those knees out and out. A little bit faster this time. Exhaling each time that you press your knees out or just breathing naturally. You only have one more change after this. Let's do five more, four, three, two, and one. Now hold those knees pressing out, final change, pulse the hips up and up. Just for eight, seven, really squeezing the glutes, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold at the top and then with control, roll your hips back down. Hug your knees in towards your chest for a moment and then rock yourself up to seated. Let's come back to our side lying series but on the other side. So you are on your right forearm now with your right elbow directly underneath your right shoulder. Knees are bent at a 45 degree angle out from your hips and your feet are back in line with your body. Exhale, open your left knee and inhale, close. So exhale, open inhale close remembering here to try and keep your hips nice and still keeping your toes together but opening that left knee nice and wide let's do two more and last one hold your knee open take those pulses back and back so tiny little presses back with that left knee trying to find a micro hold after each press back so it's press hold press freeze good job let's do eight more seven six five four three two and one close your knees slide your knees back in line with your body let's go back to our combo so inhale lift your hips up Exhale, lift your left leg, inhale, lower the leg, exhale, lower the hips with control. So hips lift, leg lifts, leg lowers, hips lower. Keep going. Remember that if lifting your hips is too much, you can always keep your hips down on the mat and just focus on lifting that left leg, really working the outside of your left glute. Keep pressing down through your right shoulder, lifting up through the side of your waist, really working our core muscles here. Last one, hold your hips lifted and your left leg lifted. Let's take those pulses up and up. Things should be burning at this point. Let's do six more. Five, four, three, two, and a one extend your left leg out reach your left arm overhead now and keeping that left leg lifted exhale lower your hips down and inhale lift them back up really trying to control the lower of your hips as best as you can and finding length through the top side of your body each time that you lift your hips up this is really great for our bottom glute, so our right glute. So if you're feeling that burning, you're doing it right. Just keep breathing. Last one, hold everything lifted. Final change, let's pulse that left leg up and up. Just for eight, 
seven, you can do it, six, five, nice, exhale, and exhale, three more, two, and a one, well done, lower your hips back down, your glutes should be on fire, we don't have too much longer to go, so stay with me, come onto your hands and your knees, so hands are directly underneath your shoulders, soft bend through your elbows, and let's start with our right leg. So flexing your right foot and keeping your spine super straight, let's press our right leg back and lower it back down. So exhale as you press your right foot up towards the sky and inhale as you lower the knee back down. Really important here that you are focusing on keeping your belly button drawing up towards your spine, making sure you maintain that nice flat back. Last one, hold your leg pressed back. Let's take a little pulses, up and up, four, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the press, extend your legs straight now. This time, inhale, pull the knee in, exhale, press it back. So inhale, bend, exhale, extend. Really pressing back through your right heel, finding that nice squeeze through your right glute. Make sure your spine stays nice and straight and keep your gaze slightly towards the top edge of your mat. So your neck and your spine are in one long line. And last one, hold your leg extended. Let's take those pulses up and up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Hold your leg lifted, point your right toes. You'll like this next one. Come down onto your left forearm. So your forearm is parallel to the front edge of your mat and really bend your right elbow, boxing out your right arm. We're gonna do my favorite rainbow legs. So kicking your leg out to the side in line with your hip, tap your mat, then lift it up and then tap to the left side of your mat. So exhale as you kick the leg forward, tap your toes down. Inhale as you kick the leg back and tap your toes towards the left side of your mat. Just keep breathing here. This one is a really challenging one. You're gonna feel both of your glutes burning. I hate to break it to you. Keep lifting up through your belly button, keeping your core engaged. You can do it. Last one, find a little burn, hold that leg kicked out to the side and just lift and lower. You've got nine more of these and eight and seven, six, you can do it, five, four, exhaling each time you lift, three, two more let's go last one well done my gosh that one really gets things fired up okay quickly let's move to the other side so on your hands and your knees again this time let's flex our left foot i just switched around so that you could see me better draw your navel in towards your spine and exhale press the left leg back and inhale lower so exhale press back inhale lower you have eight more of these if your band has kind of slid up a little bit feel free to just lower it so it's a bit closer to your knees using your breath to help you here really focusing on squeezing through that left glute And last one, hold the press. Let's take those baby presses up and up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the press, extend your leg nice and straight now. Inhale, pull your left knee in. Exhale, press it back. Inhale, pull 
and exhale, press. So finding that nice leg extension as you press your left foot away from you now. Really trying to find one long line all the way from the crown of your head to the heel of your left foot as you extend that leg back. Good job. One more, hold your leg extended. Let's take those pulses up and up. Just eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one my favorite let's point our left toes come down onto your right forearm now boxing out your left arm kick the leg forward in line with your left hip tap the floor then kick it back and tap the right side of the mat so it kicks forward taps the mat kicks back taps the mat so nice big rainbow legs here exhaling as you're kicking the leg forward inhaling as you kick the leg back really trying to keep your core nice and engaged your chest parallel to the floor as best you can and just breathe through the burn you can do it let's do one more and now hold that leg out to the side let's finish with those leg lifts you can do it lift and lift just for eight you got it and seven six five it burns i know four keep breathing three nice exhale last one well done my gosh that one is a killer let's press our hips back into a child's pose release your palms up towards the sky to release any tension through your shoulders and just take a nice big sigh of relief you have done so well now if you were using the band today let's take that bad boy off our thighs we don't need that anymore and then carefully make your way down onto your back for a nice little glute stretch. So flexing your right foot, cross your right foot over your left thigh, open your right knee and hug your left leg in towards your chest. Holding on to the back of your left thigh or if you want a deeper stretch, you could hold on to the front of your left shin. Close your eyes here, breathing into this yummy glute stretch. Then carefully release, let's switch sides, cross your left foot over your right thigh now, hugging your right knee in, making sure that your left foot is flexed and you're pressing that left knee open. Hold on to the front of your right shin if you want a deeper stretch. Then carefully release, let's hug both knees in towards our chest now. Or if you would like, take happy baby, holding on to the outsides of your feet and pressing your knees down towards your underarms, just to release any extra tension that you might have in your glutes and your hip flexors. Then when you're ready, carefully release, hug your knees in and rock the length of your spine up to a seated position. Finding a nice cross-legged seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Let's finish our class today with one last big inhale, reaching our arms up towards the sky and exhale, hands come down to prayer. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this quick little 15 minute booty burn using the band. If you wanna see more workouts like this, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment, share this video with a friend and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, everyone. And I look forward to seeing you next time.